If you want to truly be creative and in service for whatever you produce, money has to be an afterthought. Because if you put the money, I need money, when I provide this service or, or create this thing, it tends to poison that product or service and you can't fully express what's really within you. And you can't really serve the other person and see them for who they are. So how do we make money an afterthought and be able to sustain ourselves and to be able to thrive? So my recommendation is that you have to first create a system of stable income that then allows you to stand up and create and serve. So how do we create a system of stable income? A couple things, right? One is all of us can probably go back to our, to our credit card statements, to our bank statements, to our, to our bookkeeping and go, what can I cut out? What is the spending that I maybe don't have to spend that I can find a creative way to fulfill that need, or maybe it's not really a real need, maybe that need doesn't exist, but if it, if it really is a real need, how can I find a creative way to solve that need without having to spend all this money? So <laughs> food, eat rice, beans, and, and cabbage, you know, or whatever it is, like basic stuff that you could save money. But there are other, there's usually other things. So for example, if you are struggling with money, I don't recommend that you spend any money with me. Don't buy any of my courses don't buy any of my services. And the same thing goes with any other business and marketing trainer. Look at the, the money you're spending on, on, on learning and services for business and marketing. And, and I would say cut that out, first of all, because you can learn everything you need about business and marketing by using Google and by using YouTube. Okay, Only the people who aren't struggling financially should then take the next step and spend some more on business. Anyway, so say, say, number one is look at, your, look at your money and see if you can save some. Number two is can you get some family support? All of us can probably get some family support. Some of us might be lucky and have a spouse that can support us for a while while we build our business. Some of us are lucky to have parents or grandparents or aunts and uncles who can give us a little bit of money every month or, or even kids or grandkids if you're lucky. Or, or So one is saving money. Two is family support. Three, of course, is getting a stable job or two or three stable part-time jobs where the money no longer is an issue. So let's say, for example, everybody watching this, you can definitely be charging, you know, let's just say getting a stable job, so selling something easy to sell. You could definitely charge $25 an hour to do administrative work for somebody else. And let's say you charge $25 an hour and you work for 30 billable hours, 30 hours per week. That's $3,000 a month. Okay, and you, can, you should be able to live on three thousand dollars a month anywhere in the world if you are reasonable about your living expenses, and and then with three thousand a month, then you can then build your authentic business. So a couple things here, like I said, once the money system is stable, then you can build your business, your authentic business, the kind of business that we that I've been talking to you about that is truly aligned with your spirit and your soul, where you can truly express and find your authentic voice and serve your true fans, that kind of stuff is much easier and, and ironically faster to build when there's no desperation of money. Okay, so get the money system sorted out, then you can create and then you can serve truly. Now, a common objection is to say, well, George, yes, of course I can get the jobs, etc. You know, of course, there's always jobs available. Always, always jobs available for everybody. Everybody watching this, there's always jobs available. But George, I'm not fulfilled in those jobs. I don't like my coworkers. I don't like my boss. I don't like the boring work that I have to do in those jobs. Now, wait a minute here. First of all, those people are paying you. The jobs are paying you, so they're solving your money problem. And now you have your other problem, which is your emotional problem. <laughs> Right? You've, you've got your money problem solved, but you're bringing your emotional problems in of, oh, you're, you're always criticizing your coworkers, your boss, or your own work. Okay? You're criticizing these things. That's your own. But you can, you can break that conditioning. You've been trained too long to criticize your boss, your coworkers, and your work. Break that conditioning today and say, let me appreciate something about my boss about the coworkers I don't like and about the work that I don't like. Truly, whatever you focus on will expand. So you may have spent years focusing on criticism 
of a system you don't like. Oh, I'm better than the than the systems. I don't. I'm an artist. I don't work in those jobs. Okay. Well, then you also have a money problem. If you work in those jobs, you can appreciate, get curious, and go. Hmm. Every everybody. Everybody, no matter how annoying they are or how frustrating they are to work with, every single person on this planet has something you can appreciate, isn't there? It's true. You're an artist, aren't you? You can get creative and appreciate something about every person on this planet. There's something. And once you start appreciating that person, if you've got to work with somebody, you might as well learn to appreciate them. And once you start appreciating them, that tends to expand. The relationship changes. What you focus on expands, right? So you start to see more, even more you can appreciate about that person. Once you start appreciating your work, you find that, ooh, there's even more I can appreciate about this work. And now you've solved the other problem. You, you, you've solved your money problem, and now you solve your emotional problem about your jobs. And once you get that done, now you have a money system that you can be happy about, and the happiness is very important. Then you can bring the remaining hours of your evening or weekends to your authentic business and you start to grow that you start to grow your audience in an authentic way and then before you know it you'll have an income coming in from your authentic business that will then start to replace your various part-time gigs so i hope this is helpful i really hope that you can build business from a place of true alignment with your deep values and with your soul rather than having that money energy corrupt uh, corrupt things so I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I hope you can benefit from all my free videos and articles, and I wish you well. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.